I love the mansplaining. I'm enjoying it. You're loving what? The mansplaining that's going on. What's what? Well, just talking me through how how what well you, by you, not answering the question what by you, what you, what repeating suggesting? processes which are not related to the question that I've asked. What's, what's mansplaining, Senator? Well, it's the slightly patronising and condescending way that you're responding to my questions. Well, I would suggest, Senator, that if you're putting the word man in front of uh, some description of what I'm doing, you're doing that which I'm sure you're very much against, is making a, a sexist implication about how I'm conducting my role well, as man. Well, then the easiest is way to do it... What, is that what well, you're saying, Senator? Well, what I'm saying is that the way you've been responding to me has been patronising and condescending, and I have responded to that. So the easiest by, by, by way to deal with I this is not, imagine, is not ima to, imagine, Senator, is not to, to have that way in responding to questions Imagine I've the asked. reaction, Senator, if I said you were woman splaining. You're saying that I'm mansplaining. Well, it is a term that's used. Is it when, by whom? Well, by it rude, is a term that's used. By rude. Doesn't, doesn't make By rude senators. Uh, by senators no. who are seeking to make gender an issue. No, I'm not. Do you want to reconsider what you said, Senator? No, I don't. You don't want it? No. You don't want it? No. I am sick of being a baby factory that produces more men that will just, in the future, subjugate me. Um, we want the species to go on, but we want it only to go on with women in it. So that's what we have to do. That's the only way to keep the human race going is with just women. No! I mean, I just find it extraordinary, Senator. I just find it extraordinary that uh, you, or any senator at this at this table would seek to invoke gender in impugning uh, how a senator is responding. Well, I'm surprised mansplaining. you haven't. Let the you record don't show. Let the record the show chair, that Senator Gallagher thinks it's appropriate to uh, refer to uh, a senator as mansplaining. No. Take a good look at yourself. I mean, sitting here and well, saying to a, say to a, a male senator, you, you're Minister. mansplaining. If I said to a female senator, no, you are woman-splaining, uh, there would be uproar. Stop being a hypocrite. Well, Conduct yourself it. appropriately for this well, place. I'm sorry you're so offended by the use of the word. It is, it is a word that's used. Uh, it's, it's a... I'm surprised that you're so shocked by the use of the word. No, I'm just, um, I'm just calling hypocrisy. Hypocrisy, well, thy name yes. is Labor. Thy name is Senator Gallagher. Um, now, well, I think you need to settle down, actually. Senator, welcome, to, welcome to federal parliament. Oh, right. Welcome Minister, to federal parliament. Minister, Minister order. where the big people Minister play. order. Wow. And it's always, it's always women. Yeah, you think it's guys, but it's women. Yeah. I did Uber for like a year before I owned the car, my car a lot. Then I, I'm like partner then. Yeah. And I did Uber. And I gotta tell you, women, like listen, okay, I'm 39. So when I did Uber, babe, I was like 37, 38. If I did Uber as a man when I was 17 or 18, I would have learned so much about women. <laughs> Dude, <About what>? women. <laughs> because let me tell you something. And, 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 and you could, you could. When I, no, I'm sure he, whatever, whatever I'm going to say, he's I'm, going to, I'm a he, couple years older than he, than he is. I'm 39. How are you? 45. 45. Okay, so you got six years on me. Yeah. But tell me, as an Uber driver, bro, tell me you haven't picked up a carload, because I did it. I did it for a year. Tell me you didn't pick up four, like a carload of four women to get in your car, and you're just an Uber guy. Yeah. You know what I mean? You might as well be this headrest right here. They yeah. don't care, right? <laughs> okay. And they say the craziest, yeah. most crudest shit. And you're like, dude, I thought only guys said this shit. Yeah. I thought, Bye. babe, I'm, I yeah. swear to God with all my heart, I've, I've heard women say more whorish, brutish shit in the back seat than I've heard, like, 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 okay, four guys go out, they're talking about fantasy football, they're talking about Tom Brady, oh, okay. they're talking about, they're talking about this, they're talking about that. You get four girls in there, 
one of them leaves some dude because he got a big dick, and, and like the rest of them were all mad at this bitch. Fuck that bitch. She broke up with him four fucking times, and she seen him in the bar, and then she's going home and then she got a big. Am I lying? Yeah. Bro, am I lying? Yeah, that's about right. <laughs> Have you ever heard this car? Am I, or just making I've this heard, up? I've heard that same story. You've had yeah, the same, same exact story. conversation, right? And you're just an Uber guy. You're sitting there. How many times have you picked a woman up? Because she's pissed as fuck at her girl. She went there with her girl to the bar. Yep. And then she met her ex back at the bar. And guess what? Her ex left. So now she's got to take she's an Uber back home. And she's cussing her boy, her girl out. This horse. Bro, am I making that shit up? He's right. He's right. He's right. It's worse. <laughs> it's worse than guys. Dude, if I had learned this shit when I was 18 or 17... Oh my god, these women wouldn't be able to stand a chance. <laughs> I'm all shy, you know, I don't, I don't say much, I'm a shy guy, and I'm like, I know, I don't know. And dude, I, I picked these four girls up, and I might as well be the sun visor right here. They're just talking about the craziest shit in the world, and I'm like, dude, do you realize I'm... No, no. Oh, come on. Bro. Oh, I've never done that. Bro, honestly, I've do you... Never. Dude, as a dude, you don't talk really about shit with you and your girl to your other homeboys. You don't, you really don't talk about that shit. Women, women are like, yo. Pick four birds up from the fucking thing and they're going home. Piss the fuck off, dude. Why would you share this information? Because alcohol, because they're drunk. Polly, I've never told you this shit, but I'm telling, um, you know, he could, he could, dude, I've never met this guy yeah. before in my life. Yeah, I don't know. Am I lying? No. Am I making it up? No. Are women the crew? I can't believe it, how crude they are. <laughs> they like sex more than you do. You can't yeah. believe it. They're Am right. I lying? No. <laughs> I, I swear to you. I'd be driving the car like, are you fucking kidding me? Yeah. Like, I cannot believe yeah, there's, this. There's, there's been a few times where I just want to be like, dude, I don't want to be associated with you guys. Right, right. Man. You just like turn up yeah. the volume. You're like, oh, I'm to turn up the radio. I'm not listening to what you're talking about. But I noticed, I noticed a really big percentage of my my rides were women that went out with their girlfriends on like girls night out, and then like because I guess their friend was fighting with their boyfriend or something, and then they meet their ex boyfriend at the bar, and that girl goes home with the ex boyfriend. And then they got to get an Uber to go home because they went home because their friend went home with the ex-boyfriend. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And they're mad as fuck. And they're just like dropping a hammer. Can you believe it? This, 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 this motherfucker went and cheated on her. And she did this and she did that. And she's still going home with him. And I got to get a fucking Uber with you back to the ride. I'm like, I'm sorry. My bad. I just... Adorable. You didn't think about like the pillaging of the like continent of Hawaii. I, I didn't even know there was pillaging. Oh, you didn't? No. Okay, so you won't get rid of the doll then because that was like really cute thing that you found at Goodwill. Uh, no, I'm not gonna not get rid of it because of that. I just don't realize it was a mess. But so obviously, like you as like a white male, you are like the least like. But now you're judging me, you're assuming we're on No, I'm not. I'm not judging you. I'm just saying like that perhaps like you might be the person who is least hurt in this situation. I'm a passenger in your car. Like that doll is offensive to me. But you don't want to take it down because you like found it at Goodwill and it was like a good find. Yeah, no, I do want you to because it's actually deeply offensive. No, I do want you to take it down. All right, well, I mean, obviously you're going to give me a one star, but I'm not taking it down, so I'm sorry about that. I'm going to do worse than give you a one star. Yeah, whatever you like. I mean, I don't care. Like, I'm not trying to offend you. If you want to drop me off over here or at the next exit, I can drop you off over here. Yeah, I would like you to take me to my destination. I won't do that, but I don't think my beautiful lady lives in Hawaii. She's probably going to be pissed off you're gonna be on Gawker. <laughs> no, on you will be published on Gawker, and you'll be like the next internet meme. It's gonna be super funny. Yeah.
I mean, like, God forbid, like, anyone take your special Hawaiian doll away from you. I mean, what's more confusing is how offended you're getting by that. Like, really, um, because it's a thing that actually affects my life and a thing that doesn't oh, affect your life. I'm, I'm Asian as well. So okay, what so what is your Asian heritage? It's irrelevant. But you're trying no, to it's me not like irrelevant. It's actually super relevant. Really? Well, yeah, so part? which part this of it is, is not irrelevant? Yeah, you're, you're, you're the fact that you care that much about something that is on his dashboard? Yes, I do actually care a lot. That's sad. It's not sad, it's important. Did you say it was pathetic? Can I have your name, please? Jane. Your last name? Wow, you're the first bad experience I've ever had with Lyft, and it's unfortunate that it has to be like that. I'm excited. I'm, like, I'm, I'm a very respectful person, and the, the fact that you're taking offense to that, like, I'll take a picture That's of That's a disrespectful everybody. object that you have in your car, and, and we'll whether you're, you're Asian, Asian or not, you should be considerate to the fact that you might have passengers that don't find that, that, that thing to be. You off of my dashboard when it's super glued. No, I just said, like, you can, it, you can set it, it down for a second. It, down, it might be like, not amusing to all passengers. You're going to experience this again by the way okay. and so I hope that from this lesson this like today lesson, you're, you're being rude actually no I'm not being yeah, there's rude there's one way to tell somebody something and there's another way in which how you're doing it and, and you're not being pleasant oh because I wasn't nice enough to you but, but I've been pleasant to you this whole time I wasn't nice enough to you no, for this thing training. that's fine I have been video recording the entire time I'm excited that's cool and, I, and I'm being respectful to you no you're not you have been actually very rude and extremely entitled Yeah, I'm sorry that you have no consideration for actual Hawaiian people who don't want to be a bobblehead item in your car while you're driving for a lift. You fucking selfish, dumbass idiot. Okay, I'm being rude. You are being rude. You have no connection to this culture. You know what that is? That's a cute little bobble item that you had in your car that you don't know anything about and you're an idiot. Thank you very much for your opinion. Yeah. You're welcome. Maybe you will think about it tomorrow when you wake up in the morning. I very much will. It's going to be awesome. Thank you so much. Um, I'm ending this ride right now, so if you'd like to call another lift, you can go ahead and No, you can that. take me all the way to my I house. You don't have to. It's no, my yes, car. you do. I'm the drop off. Here's a sidewalk. Have a wonderful night. <laughs> Thank you. Yep. I'm so excited. Can I have your name again? Nope. Have a great yes, night. Yes, I can. No, can I have your name again? Well, I'll just stay here then. Well, then. Oh my God. This is my car. Can you please get out of here? No, I won't. Call the, the police. Call 911. Okay. About how I won't leave I your wish car. You would. Can you please? Exit no, I can, but you can give me your first and last name. Here. Here's what I'll do instead. <laughs> Holy shit. The weirdest night of my entire life. And he could not get away fast enough so that I couldn't get this license plate number. How cute. Wow.